In this video, we will show you how to set up a cloud file server or migrate in-house file servers to the cloud. The topics include, get your cloud file server. Create sub-user accounts. Allocate storage to sub-users. Create and share folders. Map cloud drives. Cloud file locking. Pre-configure cloud drives. Migrate data to the cloud file server. With DriveHQ's cloud file server service, it can be done in just a few minutes. You can save a lot of cost over other solutions. Your users don't need to be trained at all. Based in US, DriveHQ is a leading cloud IT service providers with over 3 million users. DriveHQ has offered the most efficient and reliable WebDAV drive mapping and cloud file server service for over 15 years. To get your file server, you just need to sign up for a free business trial on drivehq.com. Or order a business subscription. You can then log into drivehq.com and manage files on your file server. More importantly, you can map a cloud drive from anywhere. Just install the WebDAV drive mapping tool. Log in and click Map. It will map the root folder as a cloud drive. The mapped drive works just like a local drive. You can drag and drop files. or edit files in it directly. There are a few example folders, you can use them, or create your own folders. Group read and group write are two example folders. They are shared with the group except guest users for read only and full access permissions, respectively. You can use the cloud file server to share files with employees and external clients. For one-off clients, you can directly share a folder by entering the client's email address. If you need clients to send files to you, you can create a true Dropbox folder and provide the Dropbox URL to the clients. They can click the Dropbox URL and upload files to you without the hassle of login or sign up. For employees and long-term clients, you can create sub-users for them. There are four sub-user types. One, regular group member. Two, guest user. Three, subgroup administrator. Four, group administrator. For more detailed information about group account management, please visit the group account feature page. There are two options to allocate storage space. Option 1. Create subusers and don't allocate storage space to them. We will create three subusers, employee 1, employee 2, and client 1. For this demo, we will use for computers, 
one for each subuser. And one for the group owner. Now log in as employee one and map his root folder as a cloud drive. Employee one cannot create folders or files in his root folder because you have not allocated storage space to him. There are two example folders shared with employee one group read and group write. Note. Drive HQ Share is a special virtual folder containing usernames who shared a folder with employee one. Slash Drive HQ Share slash group owner username is a virtual folder containing folders shared with employee one by the group owner. You don't have to use the example folders. You can create and share new folders. For example, you can create a folder and share it with employee 1 and client 1. Employee 1 can then access the shared folder. The guest user client one can also access the shared folder because it is shared with him specifically. The file server supports cloud file locking. If a user is editing a file and a second user opens the same file, it will be opened with read-only access. For more information, please visit the cloud file locking feature page. If you need to share a different folder with each subuser, there is an easy way. Click Group Admin. Then click Group Options. Select Group Members Default to Subuser Folder in Drive HQ Share and click Save. After you set this option, the system will automatically create a folder for each subuser and share it with full access permission. Click My Storage, you can see the new folders in the root folder. The folder names are the same as subuser names. Click Manage Shares, you can see the newly created shares. The share names are also the same as subuser names. A subuser can only access the folders shared with him. The above group option also sets the default folder for subusers when they log in from a browser, Drive HQ File Manager, or FTP. The default folder is set to slash Drive HQ Share slash Group Owner slash Subusername. For WebDAV drive mapping, the default folder has no impact. Instead, you can map any folder as a cloud drive and you can map multiple cloud drives. For example, employee 1 can map a shared folder as a cloud drive. The advantages of option 1 include A. You don't need to allocate storage space to subusers. All users share the group owner's storage space and download bytes. B. The group owner can access all files. C. You can set access levels for shared folders and subusers. The main disadvantage is, subusers share the group owner's storage space and download bytes. You cannot set storage quota for a subuser. Now let's talk about option 2. Create subusers and allocate some storage space to them. You can also reallocate storage space to existing subusers. After allocating some storage space to employees, now employee 1 can create folders and files in his private My Storage root folder. Employee 2 can do the same.
Please note, each user has his own private My Storage, so employee 2 cannot see files in other accounts and vice versa. The second option seems to be easier, but there are a few small issues. A. You need to allocate storage space to subusers. The amount of storage to allocate is dependent on each subuser's need. B. You cannot limit folder access permissions because users always have full access to their own files. C. You don't automatically see subusers' files when you log into your own account. But you can log in as a subuser to access his files. You can also use the group admin feature, right click on a subuser and click log on as. It will log you into the sub account. You can then access his files using the web browser. If you want to log in as yourself and access files in sub accounts, you can create folders in sub accounts and share them with yourself. You can then access the shared folders in your own account. You can mix option 1 and option 2. You can allocate storage space to a few subusers only. For example, a few group administrators and subgroup administrators. They can then create folders in their own My Storage and share with other users. It is like a second file server. If needed, they can also allocate storage space to other subusers. If you need to migrate large amount of data to DriveHQ, you can use DriveHQ File Manager software. It is extremely efficient and reliable in transferring large amount of data. File Manager has a lot of other features that are designed for group administrators. You can use File Manager and WebDAV Drive mapping at the same time. WebDAV Drive mapping is very easy. Any user can map a cloud drive easily. However, you can make it even easier for your users. You can pre-configure the cloud drives to map for each user. This way, your users only need to log into the WebDAV Drive mapping tool. The cloud drives will be automatically mapped for them. DriveHQ Cloud File Server has a lot of advantages over in-house file servers and other cloud storage services. Please take a look at the comparison chart. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact DriveHQ Customer Support. DriveHQ offers very broad cloud IT features. For more detailed info, please visit drivehq.com and click Features.